Hello, my name is Juma Peely. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Silhouette Studio file in CreCut Design Space using Illustrator Creative Cloud. I saw a video by Ken's Creation doing this, but using a program called Inkspace, which I was unable to get to work on my Mac. I have placed a link to Ken Creation's video in the description so you can also see his tutorial if you want to try to use the free program he discusses. Because I am also a web developer, I have a subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud, which admittedly can be rather pricey, especially if you ha don't have any other uses for it. You can purchase Adobe Illustrator for a $19.99 a month subscription, or you can do the Creative Cloud for $49.99. Um, if you're a student, you can get it, a student or a teacher, you can get it for $29.99. Um, I placed links for that um, in the description. Okay, so here's how we do this. First, you'll open up Silhouette Studio you're going to go to show library you would search for your item in my case I'm going to search for ferris wheel you double click on ferris wheel I resize it so it fits inside the window then you're going to change the fill color to black you're going to change the line color to black. And then you're going to select outside of the area so that you don't have the box around it anymore. You're going to, if you're on a Mac, and I'm only doing this tutorial for a Mac, you're going to hit Command Shift 4. And you'll see your cursor changes to like a registration mark you're going to draw a box around the ferris wheel this should save it wherever your screenshots go in my case they go to um they go to my dropbox i save everything to dropbox by default you'll go ahead on then and collapse silhouette studio you'll open up illustrator you'll go file open navigate to where you do your screenshots double click to open the last screenshot and now you'll see i have brought the ferris wheel image into illustrator i click outside the box and then i usually will take and draw either a rectangle or a rounded rectangle around um, the image. I'll choose a color, then right click and arrange and send to back. Now I'll make sure that my selection tool is selected. You can either click on that with your mouse or hit B on your keyboard. Then I select again the Ferris wheel image at the top you'll see where it says image trace you're going to choose the drop down and go to black and white logo and then you're going to click on expand then again I click outside of the area so that it's unselected and then I click again right click ungroup click outside again then click in the white areas and start to delete the white areas now that's the reason why I put the box so that I'm sure that I got all the white areas I don't know if you actually have to do this but I like to do it so everything looks really clean so this will just take me a few seconds to delete all of these white boxes okay and then I click in the green area and I delete that now I'm going to go file save as I'm going to navigate to where I want to put this 
I'm going to change the name of the file to Ferris Wheel. Then I'm going to choose SVG. I'm going to click Save. I, when the first time you use it, it'll come up with SVG 1.0. I save mine as SVG 1.1. And I leave all the other settings as they as they come up. I click OK, and now the file has been saved. So now you col collapse or close Illustrator. You go to your design space, and you click on Upload Images. You're going to select Upload Image. You're going to browse. To wherever it was that you saved it um, you're going to click open make sure that the file name is what you'd like it to be they do recommend that you put tags so that later on you can find files based off of groupings so i'm going to say fair carnival and i think that'll be good oh and one more rides Okay, then I'm going to click Save. That uploads the image. Now under Uploaded Image Library, you'll see where you have the file. You can click on it. You see the little X. Insert Image. Now you want to size it to the size that you want. Now if you were to press Go and leave everything black, it would set it up to cut it on one mat. If you wanted to cut your images from different colors, what you could do is go back, right click, click on the image so that you get the box around it, right click, ungroup, and now you'll see that the layers are all separated. So let's say we wanted to make the wheel and the stand gray, two of the two of the um what do you call those little houses whatever <laughs> the, the ride things two of those red two blue two green two yellow and the star yellow what you would do is just start to go through and set the colors for your different items so i want this one to be gray Oops, didn't click good enough. Um, gray. Okay. So, I want this to be yellow. And the next one. To be yellow. And then the next one to be blue. And then the next one after that, blue. Well, or that one. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Um, and then green. Okay. I want this one to be red. I want this one to be red. And then we have to find this one. I saw on his that the items changed in color. And for a little while they were doing that on mine. But then they stopped. And now, so now I have to kind of jump around a little bit um, to find my different items. Okay, and then the last one that I want to be red. Um, let's see if I can find that one. Well, wants to be hiding. Because <laughs> he didn't actually come. Okay, here we go. All right, now if I press go, you'll see that it divides it up by the different colors and will cut each item from the different colored mats. Okay, and there's my video. Thank you.